What if I told you you could have a lot of fun with your guitar with just one or two simple strumming patterns and four easy chords? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lauren Bateman and my YouTube channel is all about making the guitar make sense for you, breaking things down into its basic components and simple parts so that you can actually have fun with your guitar today. So if you know the G chord, the C chord, the E minor chord, and the D chord, you're gonna be in good shape for this video. I also have simplified versions of these chords. So if you find changing between chords is difficult, you can always use the simplified versions of the chords. I'm not gonna teach those in this video here, but I'll put a link up to that video if you guys wanna go check it out later. And to prove you can have a lot of fun by keeping things simple, I'm just gonna show you a very simple strumming pattern we're gonna use for most of these songs. It's gonna be four down strums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're just gonna do four down strums per chord, and there's a couple songs later, and I'll let you know which ones that we're gonna do two strums per chord. But to get started, we're gonna start with four down strums per chord. Keep it simple. Let's get started, guys. So our first song is gonna be Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles, and the great thing about this song is it only has two chords, E minor and C. Picks up a rice in the church where the wedding has been Lives in a dream Waits at the window where the face that she keeps by the door It's late in the evening She's wondering what clothes to wear She puts on a makeup Brushes her long, long hair And then she asks me Do I look alright? And I said yes You look wonderful Go. So make the best of this 
test and don't ask why It's not a question But a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came Down in the hollow Playing a new game Laughing in a running hey, hey Skipping and jumping Right, we're eight songs in and these next songs some of the chords we're only going to play two down strums per chord the next song we're going to jump into is neil young's heart of gold i want to live i want to give i've been a minor for this heart of gold it's these expressions that never give they keep me searching for a heart of gold and I'm getting old Don't you know I'm talking about a revolution It sounds like a whisper Don't you know I'm talking about a revolution It sounds like a whisper Sweet home Alabama Where the skies are so blue Sweet home Alabama Lord, I'm coming home to you And for some songs what you can do is you can use a capo on your guitar and play the same exact chords but have your guitar sound really different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a capo on the first fret of my guitar here. So I'm going to sit right here on the edge of this pier and watch the sunset disappear and drink a beer. What if slob like one of us just a stranger on the bus trying to make his way home so rock me mama like a wagon wheel rock me mama any way you feel And sometimes we'll come to six instead of counting to four. Maybe I'm dancing in the dark with you between my arms. Barefoot on the grass, listening to our favorite songs. When you said you looked a mess, I whispered underneath. And you look perfect tonight. So if you're impressed by how much fun you can actually have on the guitar with four simple chords and just a couple simple strumming patterns, then I highly recommend you check out my seven level guitar system. My goal as a guitar teacher is to make the guitar make sense. My students tell me that I break things down and I really simplify the guitar and help them see 
more progress than they were having on their own learning haphazardly for, from YouTube. This course has over 50 lessons in it. I'll be teaching you what chords to learn in what order. We'll be going over different tips and techniques for playing your chords faster. There's over 90 play along videos where you get to play along with me to different exercises and we work on your chord changes, getting them faster. I also show you some really specific exercises in the course that help you develop your finger dexterity and your finger speed, but not only that, how to stretch your hands out so that playing chords over three frets is much more comfortable for you in the long term. The great thing about the seven level system is that we work in a step-by-step -step process. You start on level one, work on the chord strumming and picking exercises in that level. And then once you're done, you hit the goals, you graduate to level two, and you keep going until you get all the way through to the seventh level. Don't worry, the course comes with a 57 page workbook with all the tabs, strumming patterns, and direction and teaching tips from me. Here's what these students had to say about their experience with the seven level guitar system. If you're worried at all about doing online lessons with Lauren, let me put your mind at ease. I believe that I've gotten more out of three or four months with her than I have with two years of in-person teachers. If you're hesitating at all, don't hesitate. Lauren is awesome. She is an awesome person and an awesome teacher. I have nothing but the highest regards for her. So if you're looking to have more fun on your guitar, simplify the process and have fun playing maybe with some friends or having someone actually recognize what you're playing on the guitar, then click the link in the description below to check out my seven level guitar system. You guys are definitely not going to want to miss checking this out. Hope to see you in the course.